Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. It's late afternoon on a Sunday, I've had a busy day. I thought I'd just come out for an hour or two, just drive around some agricultural fields and just see what I can get. Nothing, no particular species I'm targeting, just hopefully see, see some songbirds and just, yeah, just relax, see if I can get any shots try and get some video I'm constantly trying to improve my video work because I know it needs a lot of improvement so yeah what's that going under my car hello sir what are you doing I'm going to have to be careful when I drive away not to try and squish you. So the kind of place I'm at are uh, agricultural fields with sweet potatoes and rice. Late afternoon sun. So in this field here you probably can't see but we have three black wing stilts. We just had a great egret that's just left. We've got some noisy American military trucks on this bypass here and yeah this is the environment we're in today a bit of a drive around oh we've got some ducks flying over there they are probably spot billed ducks Indian spot billed ducks almost certainly yeah Let's see what we can get So a lot of the photography I do is driving around agricultural fields. Therefore, a lot of the shots I take are from my car. There's probably lots of videos online about how a car makes a really good bird hide because definitely birds are less spooked by someone in a car than someone not in a car. So, so here there's a lot of fields. So I just drive around looking for birds, but actually, First, I'm actually driving around looking for certain types of fields. Not what type of crop there is, not if it's loads of birds. I'm actually looking for a field that is going to be raised off the ground so it's eye level with where I'm sitting in the passenger seat. So for example, this field here is perfect. It's, so the road is usually fields are of the road level. So I'm actually looking down. So even though 
I can get a pretty good shot. I can't get perfect eye level with the bird, which is what I want, especially with the Micro Four Thirds to help blow out that background. Whereas a field like this is perfect because it goes up, this little ridge here goes up. So where the actual field is, I'm sitting here. My camera's coming out of here and the bird is here and it's exact the same level. I just pulled up here two minutes ago and there was a wood sandpiper just here. I managed to get a few shots off, but then he flew up. But basically that bird was eye level with me. So that's basically what I'm doing. This area I know very well. So I know where the fields are that are eye level with my car. And that's where I target first. And I know what kind of birds go to those fields. And sometimes I'll arrive at one of those fields and I'll wait, even though the field down there, I've got a lot more birds in. I am a meter and a bit above those birds because of the fact that the field is at the ground level with the car. So that's a good tip. If you are doing bird photography in agricultural areas from the car, try to look for those slightly elevated fields where you can be more at, at eye level with the birds. And yeah. One of my very favorite birds in Okinawa isn't one of the rare endemic birds that we have, but it's a very, very common bird that we get here called the Blue Rock Thrush. And I just love their character. They're awesome hunters. They're very, they've got a beautiful song and they're very feisty and they've got a real attitude, but they're birds that I really like. They're extremely common. You can find them from the very north of the island all the way down to the south in all sorts of different terrain and, you know, different locations. But this place where I'm at now, where there's lots of agricultural fields, is one of the best places to see them. And they're usually very tolerant of um, people. So you can often just drive up to them. Now, the, these farmlands here, they have all these taps to water the plants, water the, the crops. So these are all sweet potato over here. And you've got... ...long, hot summers. And those taps, the blue rot thrush often like to land on those taps. And you can drive around and you'll eventually find one and they're extremely tolerant and you can actually just pull up right alongside them and often they don't seem to mind at all like so there's a tap up here and oh look we have look, what looks like a female blue rock thrush on the tap all right mate hello You okay? this beautiful blue rock thrush just here posing for me just on there so I've got the car door open I'm leaning my camera on my knee to get eye level and just the perfect subject it's cool as you like doesn't mind me being here
background. <laughs> 